Hey, Mike, uh, congratulations, first win. Uh, Mark Brennan of Lions 247. You've worked a long time to get to this spot. What was this day like for you? I know coaches hate to make it about themselves, but obviously this is a unique situation. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yes, yeah, it was a long day. That's what it was. The, you know, I knew the 8.30 start was going to be a challenge, um, but I you know, also didn't. You know, I probably should be better. I, I couldn't sleep, so you know, I, was, I was up for a while. I had to sneak down to my basement, play some Galaga try and break some you know, high scores down there, you know, until I could fall asleep. But then, you know, I was up early and I couldn't, couldn't nap, you know, after shoot around. Um, I was just anxious to start. It, it's a lot of that was nervousness, um, but a lot of it was like, I knew this would be a challenge, right? Like, you know, I've watched Youngstown State play. I've lost games at Youngstown State, right? When we went to the final four at Butler, they beat us uh, during that run. So, I knew how good they were. I knew they wanted to come in here and play really well. They had scrimmaged, um, you know, one of the teams that we scrimmaged. So I knew this was going to be a challenge. That's why I was nervous. Um, you know, I, we got a bunch of older guys, and you know, sometimes they probably could have coached themselves. I'm not saying I, I don't need to be out there or anything. I like being out there with them, but uh, your AD's back there. So I know I just probably shouldn't say that. Huh? <laughs> Uh, but, you know, we had older guys, uh, and, you know, I knew how they were going to respond, how they were going to compete. So it wasn't nervousness for me. It was nervousness for how they were going to change defenses and do things to really challenge us. Michael, was there anything in particular that caught you off guard about today? You obviously had a lot of months to prepare for this. Was there anything, whether it's pregame or during the game, that you kind of didn't expect to happen that did happen? Uh, not not really. You know, you, you – it, it's funny, our staff has never gone through this together, right? So I bounce ideas off of, you know, Mike Green, the things we did at Butler in practice or day of games. And Grady well, Eifert was with me for two years, the last two years at Purdue. So, you know, I, I bounce ideas off of him about, you know, things that we should do at shoot around and then the other assistants. Right? We want to all, take all of that in and, you know, give our guys the best chance to be prepared to win. So I think we did that. We put our heads together, came up with the right plan, and you know I felt like we did that. So, but they pre they presented a challenge, right? Having no film on them is really hard. Right? You're going on word of mouth from a couple of people um, that they played, but what they did in the scrimmages was different than you know what they how they played tonight, right? They played more zone in the scrimmages than they played tonight. They put guys in in different spots and on different people, and we had to adjust to that. Um, as the game went on, that's you know having older guys, um, putting them in positions to make plays, um, and really try and take advantage of what they were doing. But they made it hard. They challenged us. They're they're a good team. Hey coach, uh, what did you learn about your team tonight? You know a little bit of what I knew. Um, you know those guys are just they're, they're warriors, man. Like. You could see it. Like, we were wearing down. We were tired. I ask a lot of them on the defensive end. Right? I ask them to play extremely hard. We get stop them. I ask them to run the floor, right, sprint to the corner, run to the rim, do all this stuff. That takes a lot of effort. Uh, we try and manage that in practice so they're at 100%. But, you know, guys were cramping up. It happens early in the year. Um, guys play a lot of minutes. You look at it, Jalen Pickett played 36 minutes. And, um, you know, Sam played 33 that, that's a lot from those guys, but they battled, they fought. You know, I think we got a little loose defensively when we got tired. Like that's where I think we need to get better. Uh, but I thought we executed fairly well down the stretch to get the shots that we wanted to get. Hey, Mike, uh, how important is it to have uh, your offense running through Sam and Seth? Was that a point of emphasis coming into this game? You know, really for – for all of our guys, we want them to be multi-dimensional. Um, you know, when guys have the ball in their hands in different positions, and whoever's night it is, like that's whose night it is. Like Jalen, you know, Jalen didn't play well, uh, particularly, but you know, we need him out there because he's another guy who can handle the ball, can make passes, he can defend people. Uh, but you know, Seth and Sam got the hot hands. So we're gonna go to those guys. And they made big shots for us down the stretch. Sam made great plays for us down the stretch. When you look, you know, 
eight assists and two turnovers is impressive. Right? He, he's making plays at the rim, but when people come and help, he's finding guys on the perimeter. And I think that's an area of growth for him where, where you see improvement from last year. And he's bought in to what we're trying to do. And uh, you see it each and every day. And I thought he carried this. I thought uh, Seth made big shots, and he carried this at times too. Hey, Micah, um, what did you see in particular from Seth tonight? He looked like he was pretty aggressive right from the start. He was. That, that's who we want him to be. We want him to be aggressive. He's at his best when he's looking to score, uh, but he's also making the right decisions. Uh, for him to have you know, two turnovers, you know, we watched a lot of film. We talked about how these guys wanted to help and playing off two feet, right? not, not running people over and taking charges. Um, making the right decision, not trying to force passes, make simple passes. And I thought he did that when they cut off his drives or when they took away his three. So, you know, the more we can play through him, when he's making good decisions like that, it really helps us. It really helps us because he's aggressive now. People can't double as much if he's making the right play. And uh, he'll continue to get better, right? He had, he had 23 points and six rebounds, and I'm saying he's going to get better. I think there are areas of growth that he can continue to grow. And maybe it's not, you know, maybe he doesn't get 23 next game, but he has an even better game. It's not always his scoring. It's his decision-making. It's his effort. And uh, he really brought it tonight on those ends. Last two questions, starting with David. Um, Mike, I, I think John had 25 minutes tonight. We saw Jelani pretty early. Um, how did the way that you use your bigs tonight kind of match what you hope to do, I guess, generally with, with Greg out? Uh, you know, we wanted to, to try and mix those guys up and give them some opportunities to play together, too. Um, I think, you know, right now, being shorthanded, you you got to do it set on a rotation, but then you got to bounce it off and, and go with who has fouls, who doesn't have fouls, who doesn't have fouls, who's tired, who's not. And, um, you know, credit to... You know, I gave Coach Fisher a list, and he'd check with me at timeouts and say, hey, is this the group you want, or do you want to sub to this? So it's something we went in with a set plan. We got off of it a little bit. You know, I got John out early when he picked up a foul, just right by the media, because, you know, if we can save him a couple minutes without playing with another one, right, we can have him out there even more. And, you know, 26 minutes, great for him. It's perfect for him. He played extremely hard, like 16 and 14 is impressive no matter who you're playing against. But Jelani, in 14 minutes, if he wouldn't foul it, I would like to got him you know, even more minutes. Uh, so I thought he did some good things. He, he got tired in the second half, but you know, he did some good things for us early in the game, getting on the glass, getting us some extra possessions and some buckets. Hey, Micah, uh, Ryan Parsons, Onward State. Um, first game of the season, first game with a new coach, what was the mood like of the team throughout today and then also after the game in the locker room? They were excited to play. You could sense a little bit of nervous energy. We were we were a little quiet at shoot around, um, which they're normally not a quiet group. They love to talk, and, and there's a lot of guys that love to talk, like Miles, Sam, like they're gonna talk nonstop. And they were a little quiet, right? Uh, you could sense the kind of nervous energy, but they just wanted to do so well. Right? It, it, it was. I think that's the biggest part. I'm excited for them and, and how they played and. You know, in front of this fan group, and I hope you know. I kept saying it, we want to make Penn State proud, and I hope they did that tonight uh, with with their effort, with how they played, with how we tried to share the ball and defend and dive on the ball for you know loose balls and everything else. So, you know, in the locker room they were great, and I, I kind of put it on me. I had some bad self awareness that I didn't realize that each guy had two bottles of water in his hand waiting on me after I finished talking. Um, that's probably part of my, my self-awareness a little bit. Uh, but they were excited. They wanted to celebrate for me. I wanted to celebrate for them because they deserve it. They deserve it. These, these guys have been through a lot. They fought through a lot. And they've stayed together. And, you know, we're going with the, the, the mantra of win anyway, no matter what happens, right? No matter who's in, no matter who's out, no matter who's got fouls, no matter who's tired, no matter who's injured, find a way to win anyway. And I thought we did that tonight.